Ah, hello and welcome to day four, day four of Darkwood. Um, I forgot to check the previous video, so I'm not really sure what we're doing, but I do remember figuring out that I wanted to know if we'd respawn during the uh, time freeze. And it looks like we do, which is great. That makes that a, like the best time to save, so that I can make sure that I figure out what I'm doing. Now, if I remember correctly, I think there were some items down here. We haven't been to the burned houses yet, and we wanted to explore finish exploring this area before going to the wolf's hideout off in the silent forest. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably, um, burn houses are probably the best approach. Though our plank doesn't look too happy, I'd want more plank for going, because I know that at least in the past there have been a lot of dogs in that area. How do I repair again? Oh, here we go. Um, yeah. Let's make sure that's okay. Excellent. Looks like we want more wood. At least I've bolted down everything, I think, right? It's all boarded up. Good. I do want to upgrade the uh, shop at some point. That'd be nice. But for now, I'm just going to go and follow the road. Because that's probably the best thing to do, frankly. Pretty sure I emptied this out. Yep. I do miss, it used to be the case that whenever you first uh, started, I think in the first tier actually, there was a set of, there was a power up, power up, it's not what it is, skill, that's what it's called. There was a skill called, um, uh, see, like, see better, I don't remember the name, but basically you were able to, uh, s like when you moved this mouse cursor it had about one and a half times its radius or something. That's quite a haul, poor guy. That looks like it was an actual enemy at some point, too. That's interesting. I've got lots of ammo, which seems a little bit premature, because normally you don't get the pistol till much later. Ooh, wood logs, yes, and I have fuel, too, so that kind of means that works out. I'm okay with this. This makes sense to me. This reminds me, though. How am I doing on... The thought just escaped me. I wanted to check something, but I don't remember what it is, so I'm just gonna keep going in the interest of not making the video of me just staring blankly at the floor as I try to figure remember what it was I was wanting to do. And now I have all the stumps. Um, the crows make me feel like there's a corpse somewhere that I missed. These tight bushes are neat. I like them. Oh, what? What? Well, see, I like games that do that too. Like the the enemies are fighting amongst each other as well. All right. Um. Wait. Oh, okay, it's just a rabbit. I was like, what was that? Oh, rabbit. Fine. That's less. I thought it was like a ghost or something. Game's changed. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I totally whiffed that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do not want. Do not want. This could be bad. Whiff. Oh no. Shit. They made the dogs dangerous. Why did they do that? That's not how this is supposed to work. Whiff. They're not that dangerous though. <laughs> like it just it's, it just looks so silly. <laughs> looks like I literally knock it over on its side. Alright, well they've left him alone for now. See, it's a good thing I recharged it, because it's almost all the way done. Granted, I'm being a little careless, but eh. It's still a surprising amount of, of you know, decay. Ugh. Fine. Maybe I won't get any. I'll have to come back here and pick up a bunch of stumps. It's not exactly exciting, mind you. What's with all the f Flickering. Yeah, whatever. There's 
still there it is. It's a safe. This has been here for a while. Ooh, fabric. Is it fabric? I thought it was like leather. Whatever. Yes, white dress. So as far as I know, uh, note, found white dress. Does this have a thing now? Okay. It's just in my inventory now. He hasn't written anything about it? Nope. Alright, whatever. Doesn't mean that I still have to figure out how to pick that up. It's the least valuable thing I got right now. Probably the gun ammo. Or the flares. But I'm gonna drop the stump anyway, because I gotta come back and pick up a bunch of them anyway. This stump city. Also, I probably need to come back in this direction. I also like this detail. That's like... That's sunlight coming through the ceiling. Which is cool. I hear more scratching noises. Oh, there it is. As long as you don't howl, I don't really care where you go. I missed. Don't you howl. I don't care if they run, I just don't want them around me. <sighs> I'm gonna need to repair that already though. I'm gonna need a better weapon. Hopefully I find... I think the next thing is usually an axe. Is there anything else around here? The seesaw. Which is interesting. I'm picking this up. You can keep your shouting. Yeah, you can... Keep doing that. Keep searching. Great. I am now weaponless. Well, I guess I have the torch, so not weaponless, but... I don't want to keep it out because it burns away. So I can take it out only when I need it. Planks. Yes. Good. Not all is in vain. My stump abandonment will not be in vain. Alright, let's see. This looks like the boundaries of it. I don't think there's... I think we're done. Probably. We'll do one final run around. Oh, we never actually did check the tractor, did we? Good thing. Okay, so that's still Piotrek's quest, I think. I don't know where it is. Well, we're coming back here. So I guess I'm just gonna pull them out of the tractor. I found... I think that's the best way to remember to pick... Like, if I know I'm gonna come back to a place, just so I don't have to keep... I'd rather do that and know that I've been here, so I shouldn't have to search any of the items. Even though in practice I end up searching a lot of them anyway, just because I'll, I'll know that, like, oh, there's a thing there. It at least keeps me on the right track. I don't think there's anything else in here. There's just the wardrobe, which we're done with. Yeah. Searching stuff isn't so bad, it's just the fact there's a lot of it. Rain still doesn't seem to actually, like, mechanically impact anything. What is this? Is this Wolfman camp? Oh, hi! I missed you the last time somehow. He has a bed now! That's kind of neat, and a fire that burns even in the rain. That's weird. His, uh, his chests are gone as well, which is, which is curious. I wonder what, what that means about what's going on here. Cause, so he used to, if this is the first dark wood you've ever seen, he used to have three chests around here and you could, I never did it, but sources say you could kill him and get the key, like the code for them, and, and open them up and get like an AK or something, like a really powerful weapon. But it wasn't that great because he's the only one that had it, would like sell you ammo for it. So you were, it was like this, you know, the only way to actually get advantage out of him would be to trade with him for a long while, then murder him? Which is weird, but yeah. Looks like they've gone to with some other route for him. Yes, meat! Alright, he ain't got nothing, nothing new to say. Um, he still takes pretty much what he's always taken. Repairing it is better than trying to uh, fix it. I don't have anything because he still yep, doesn't know what it is. Yep. Alright, nothing new from you. Whatever. I don't think I want to offload any of my current items onto him. I'm hesitant to explore on the basis that I don't think I can actually carry anything. 
So it kind of makes sense to go back. That was so close. This stuff is all bunched up here. There's rocks there too. I should visit that. My way out. See, that's the other thing. I know that I'm going to the forest soon. So it makes sense to make sure I can pick up a bunch of stuff and get started on the next place somewhat easily. Still going. I'm going back. I don't think there's anything really worth doing. Without a good amount of inventory space, I don't think there's much worth doing, basically. Oh, hey, the body changed again. Yeah. That's eh, a small detail. Doesn't matter that much. But it's neat if it were to be, you know, consistent. Right. Repair, repair you again, because I do want you to be usable. Why did I want more planks? I remember there being something that I wanted to make sure I had planks to do. Oh, they only stack to two. Okay, good to know. Can I produce... Why is it red? Oh, I need to up... Oh, that's why I want planks. Um... Alright, well, I'm gonna upgrade. Is it dark out already? Or is it just raining? Ah, super low efficiency oven. I think it's starting to get dark, but I can't really tell. It's so overcast. Uh... I want to make that eventually. I don't think I need to use fuel right now. Don't need anything extra. There. Health is good. Stash flares, I guess. Pills? Does it make sense to keep some pills on me? Maybe. I never really needed a lot of these. Or possibly I've never needed any of them, actually. But at least for the night time, I like to have a few of these so that I can fix stuff. That's also why I like to carry around a set of planks. Oh, okay, stuck in That is what I remembered, and that has not yet changed. That's nice. Um, well, in the meantime, I think I should explore again without... Oh, it stopped raining. Good. I thought I hit M. Okay, I hit other keys first. I wanted to... I want to go exploring, but I can't make it all the way back there. We'll do that tomorrow. Um, let's, let's just go this way. Stuff in this direction. But th there seems to be nothing in this direction. And it could very well be the case that there simply is nothing in that direction. But let's find out. Let's be sure. I get the feeling I've already kind of explored this place before. I, there was, in fact, absolutely nothing. Or, you know, we never ran into anything, at least. Yeah. It's nothing. Ooh, it's getting late. Alright, well, that was a quick day, I suppose. But I want to try something real quick. Something dangerous. That is... I want... S I know that there's stuff to recover from here. I want to recover some of it. Aha! definitely worth recovering. Yeah, take your time. What is he doing in that whole time? Respirating? Basking in the ooze of the mushrooms? That's what I like to imagine. Just imagine him secreting stuff slowly onto his hands. And I'm just being like, yeah, that's the stuff. This guy does cook mushrooms. He's a little weird. To be honest, I actually don't know if you can cook and eat any mushrooms. Well, okay, that's not true. <laughs> I've eaten mushrooms before, but I don't know if I've ever... Um, these kinds of mushrooms do not look like the kind you typically eat. And I also don't know, because I guess this, this thing clearly takes place in Poland. So I don't know if uh, like Polish mushrooms are generally safe to eat. But it's true that the scary part is not just that he cooks and eats mushrooms, but rather that he um, injects them into his veins. 
That I'm pretty sure is not safe. Probably. Let's do this. I wanna be be edgy. Damn it. Foiled already. Cause I wanna I wanna have an easier access to this generator. How do I know when to turn it on? See, when we find a watch, which we haven't found a watch yet, have we? I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I'm not taking risks with this. Alright. Already night time of this day, huh? Alright. That looks good? Yeah. Alright. I'm okay with that. I've got a fully upgraded plank. I've got a way to get light via the uh, the things I'm carrying there. I've got a lot of scrap metal. That's a lot of scrap metal. I could make some more wood tomorrow during the time stop. Upgrade this thing, get myself some new stuff. That sounds like a good idea, actually. More of this. Still don't know what the weird stones are for. They used to do things in Alpha. Wow. All the way back on Alpha 1 they did stuff. I don't think they've actually done anything since then. Just a long time now that I think about it. Alright. Let's head out of the darkness. Into this room. Because the shit seems to go down in this room. So the the soft edge they've put on the shadows does help this case. Just looks a little bit nicer in the darkness. Alright, you're empty. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that I could see... what? Oh no, is the generator low? I just didn't notice. Huh. Hmm. Seems fine now. Definitely stuff outside. Oh, convenient. Yes, please sprout. Sprout away. I am clicking madly. There we go. Excellent. Night mushrooms. Those are the best kind. I wish I could cook with them. I like his message about cooking during the night, though. Makes sense. I, I thought this was something, but it's just the pipe. It's like, what's that moving? things moving. Usually bad. Is there another one? Or is that just... Is that just like... Uh... Ooh. What? Oh, uh, that's really... That scared me. That seriously scared me. I, I know they've had... If I remember now, there was an alpha. There was a point where they actually had, uh... It had a ghost that would stamp around, like it would form little footprints and open doors and stuff. It's pretty neat, but it wasn't that scary. That door randomly opening was genuinely creepy, though, just because... <sighs> oh, finally? A Shadows event? I shouldn't be excited about this, because there's some of the most bullshit ones. Oh no, it's... Uh... Actually, I have no idea. I've never seen a frost over like this before. Um... cool though. Oh god. What? Um. Alright. Stay here, I guess. Have your fun outside. Okay, I like this. I like the detail of the... Um... What? That it gets cold. Frost's over when they're around. I think they're gone. It's defrosting a little bit. It sounded like they were actually hurting. Do they, um. cause damage to the. barricades or something when they fly through the. or the doors? Could repair that doorway at some point, but I don't really see the. that, that looks like a waste at this point. Ugh. Sorry, didn't mean to make noise. So that was shorter than usual. Or maybe it was a bug that was ever as long as it has been sometimes for me. Well, I 
feel like nighttime should be about over. Stuff outside. But that, that's good, I guess they've turned up the... I like the randomness a little better. Because that was the first time I've gotten a, night, a, a Shadows event the whole time I've been here. Excuse me? So I think it's good. The variety was good that I, I saw like three or four different things before they ever arrived. Whereas before it was a regular like, oh god, please make it go away kind of thing. It wasn't great. I got very familiar with them. Hello, you three. I have you. Always glad to see me alive. At least something is. That's all that I want from you. Go get some wood. For now, I think you're the only you're the best way to get upgrade items, so that's a lot of mushroom juice. Let's go poke the generator. And see if it's actually low on low on fuel or not. Time stop should keep going. Uh already. I think it takes two bars per night, so it's good. It's fine. We want to make some more. We'll leave that open for now. Grab this one. I think we're gonna... actually just one of them is gonna be enough. Because we want to grab enough planks to make... Yes. So that we can upgrade. Bench. Aha! Upgrade workshop! Excellent! Now I can make inventory upgrade, which is... Oh, that's so good! Oh, I love more inventory. Inventory is so great. Now I need the toolbox to upgrade. Okay, that's fine. Can upgrade the plank with nails. What does it take? I can get more nails which does more damage, uh, more durability, or less stamina drain. I like more damage and I can do it immediately, so let's do it. I hope I don't find, like immediately find a, a, uh, axe or something. Like something that'll just immediately replace this thing. Do you want to carry that around? Carry this around, that's fine. You can go back down here. Pills are how useful to have, but not a lot of spare spaces in that case. One thing I wish they do, and I guess we'll find out soon if they did it eventually, is that this inventory is not shared among, uh, among hideouts. There are multiple hideouts, by the way. I don't know. I, keep for, I assume that you've watched my previous videos or have done some other Darkwood stuff before, but I realize that's a, not a good assumption. This might be your first Darkwood. And yes, there are multiple hideouts in every one of the, every biome in, on this map. So there's one here, one here. At least there used to be. I think that pattern will stay. So these don't transfer over, but there is a neat way, which I, I will keep quiet about in case this is your first Darkwood. There is a neat way for you to um, uh, get them, get stuff that you left at other hideouts. All right. Is there anything I want to th trade away to the three? Let's trade away some. Uh, I want to keep stuff just because I don't. I know I'm going to meet more of the players in the game, but which I mean like the NPCs, and I'm going to want. I don't think I need this yet. I don't think I have enough health for that to be a thing yet. It is faster though. I don't know. We'll see. Can I make that one on the fly? Yeah. Okay. We'll keep doing. <laughs> Excuse me. That one there. Okay. We can also make bear traps. And if I know correctly, we can basically farm reputation. With anyone really, because scrap metal costs ten. But they pay more than that for uh, what? 
watch. Oh, that's so tempting, but I know I'm gonna get one soon, probably. I squandered all of my reputation with them, but that's okay. Ah! What are we doing next? I guess we can try going, going to the next biome? There doesn't seem to be a whole lot left to explore here, and I'm sure I left some items somewhere, but that's not entirely essential. I don't really need to collect all the items everywhere. Um, let me think a little bit. Alright, yeah. Totally. Alright, so I'm gonna wrap, wrap up today here. Um, and I guess tomorrow we'll go on and head off to the Silent Forest. Maybe meet the wolfman there and complete his little quest. As always, thank you for watching. Catch you next time.